Okay, here on the Syntrex 2, I have this paper overlay on it just to cut down on the glare and maybe make it easier to see on camera. Um, this is a bit of a patch tip for how to get a random clock going on, on the um, random source. It can be free running or to gate. Gate is tied to the button. Um, you can put in a, like a looping button pattern, but that's not quite random. So to get a random clock, what I did was I sent LFO3, the saw wave, out the second input output to the first input, and then it has this two gate switch. So on triangle, it wouldn't trigger, but on saw it would. It's not a DC coupled input, but for this it works anyway, so let's just hear it. So the nice thing about doing it this way, I mean you give up your second output, but you can um, you can mix the main audio into the envelope follower trigger detector thing and get like this kind of thing. You can also loop the envelope. So if I adjust the shape, it stops triggering if we turn the looping off. We get nothing, so you can bring in the random here. If we have it faster. And then you can switch it to the internal clock.
So if we turn off the gate switch, then the loop's still looping. But if we put it to manual, it stops. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.